All right, you guys ready? Mm -hmm. We are gonna do a vlog. Yes. It has a been forever. Vlog. Woo -woo. Sure. Come. Come. All right, good morning. I think it is about time we update you guys on our life, on our business, and everything going on around here. So, um, we don't have any puppies here right now, um, any litters. Um, Newman was our last puppy from the Seinfeld litter and he just left yesterday. So, woohoo! Um, we always celebrate, we've got this little thing we do, we celebrate after the last puppy leaves. And um, so, where did we go last, yesterday, Riley? Busy corner to eat pie. <laughs> this cute little and diner food. in a small town near us, um, Busy Corner. And so we had a great time there last night. Um, so, now that we don't have any puppies, we're going to look forward and kind of we're planning for, forward for the future. So, in the immediate future, um, we've got Izzy that is definitely pregnant and going to have a puppy or going to have a litter. Um, that's for sure. She definitely looks, has quite the belly and um, so she is actually due pretty soon and so we're we've got her in the basement we've got things all set up for her and we are just looking for keeping watch on her and um, you know just kind of waiting and seeing another update is um, since Akira Denali and Izzy are all getting a little older they've had plenty of litters with us we are um, planning on retiring them this year and we've got lots of applications for potential homes for them and um, I'm sure we're gonna be able to find them a great home. We really want them to retire in uh, their own home so they can get all the love and attention they need. So, since they're retiring, we are we need to replace them. We're really happy with the amount of dogs that we've had the last couple of years and so we wanna keep that, that love amount of dogs. It's just, it's a, still a small amount um, that we can like give them all a lot of attention but enough that like if instances like this where some of them don't get pregnant or the pregnancy doesn't <coughs> isn't completed then um, we have enough puppies we have enough litters um, moms that we can fall back on but okay so we are replacing Akira Denali and Izzy um, we already have one puppy that we are gonna raise um, her name is Lulu do you want to go get her? There she is. That's Lulu back there. I'll get some better videos of her. So Lulu is an AKC registered purebred Bernie's Mountain Dog. Um, she comes from amazing lines, lots of good longevity, and lots of health testing done on her parents and grandparents. So, um, you know, we're just trying to keep that high standard of um, health for our breeding dogs and um, so we're really excited about her. She's got great markings, very um, hello. There she is. Very uniform markings. Um, and yeah, so Lulu and then this afternoon we're gonna go meet another dog that is actually about Lulu's age. Uh, we're excited, kind of similar situation. They have had all the health, the parents have had all the health testing and um, AKC registered and all that so yeah so we're excited and um, we we talked about if we wanted to get more Bernie Doodles or keep with Bernie's Mount or more Bernie's Mountain Dogs and what we found is that a lot of people um, most people seem to want the F1 generation so the 50-50 um, it's my favorite generation for the Bernie Doodles they um, I feel like have a lot of like very uniform in color and structure and coat type and they just have like that nice blocky Bernie's Mountain Dog conformation and um, but the benefits of being a Bernie Doodle. But then the other reason we're not getting Bernie Doodles for breeding right now is that we are planning on doing purebred litters as well. So if you haven't um, seen on our Instagram, which if you don't haven't followed us on Instagram, you should definitely do that because on Instagram is where we um, probably have the most updates or the most consistent updates. But um, we have a Bernese Mountain Dog stud now. His name is Conley. And um, he, so we're going to have some purebred litters with him. And, um, but we still have Winston. We're still going to have some Bernadoodle litters as well. Um, so those are, that's kind of the big future plans. Um, 
as far as the dogs go. Um, we've got Lulu and then this puppy we're going to see today and then potentially another one we're looking at in Missouri that's a little bit older but she seems really great. Another thing we have started offering up recently is um, stud services. So we've got um, yeah, Winston and Conley, Winston being our poodle. He's a blue merle phantom poodle, throws beautiful tricolors with, um, with our Bernese Mountain Dogs. Um, so, <clears throat> and he's proven, um, he's been great. So we're offering him up for stud and then Conley as well. Conley is our new AKC registered Bernese Mountain Dog. Um, both of them are health tested and, um, and he has had some litters. Um, with his previous owner so um nice big size letters so um we had we had resisted offering up our studs for stud service and for a while just because we weren't well set up for it now we have an extra building and space that um more space to keep the female dogs in a nice comfortable temperature controlled area and um and so having that space means that we can offer them up for stud. Um, so if you know of anybody or if you have a dog that you're looking for a Bernese Mountain Dog or a Poodle stud, definitely um, get on our website and um, let us know. We um, Oh, we're only doing live, co live cover right now. We're not doing a ship semen or do AI quite yet. It's just not something I want to deal with at this point, but... Yeah, so that's kind of an exciting extra um, facet of our life and business. If you've noticed the pinkish glow on my face, um, it's because of this whole thing right here. Um, this is our seed starting setup uh, for our garden next year. So we've got a few things, a few really early things started, um, mostly peppers and um, some parsley and pansies flowers um i really need to get going on some other things but those will come in time so this year i decided to do soil blocks for um for our seed starting um instead of the little trays with the individual little cups um this these are soil blocks and oh i should have had the device there's this device that you put the soil in and it makes individual little cubes of soil and that's what you plant the seeds in. So um, I'm excited to try it. There's lots of benefits um, to it and maybe I'll do a separate vlog episode on just about that. There's Lulu in her crate. She loves her crate. She's been doing really well with it. We're working on potty training. We like to, when we get a new puppy um, that's going to live with us, we like to have them in the house for a little while and um, do a little extra training on them. <laughs> she got the head tilt. Um, partly so that they bond with us first and then also so we can get, get them um, trained and have them have a little bit of manners. <laughs> do you love your crate? She just goes in there by herself when she wants. Never a fun thing having animals in the winter. Things like this happen where their water freezes. Oh, very thick layer of ice. There's my beautiful cows. They are due to calve this spring, so March and April. They're Jersey cows and we are super excited to have milk from them. Be family milk cows. So the dogs that are out here, out here right now, we've got Denali right there. Not sure if she's pregnant. And she'll be coming inside pretty soon in the basement, just in case. And then Conley, hi buddy. He's so nice. Sweet Conley. He's our Bernie's stud. What do you smell? And then these crazy two, Minka and Suki. Oh, Minka. Suki needs a haircut. She needs to be groomed pretty badly, but that's all right. Sometimes I like leaving it long for the winter. 
Give her a little extra warmth. <sighs> and over here is where we've got, this is the yard attached to our basement. So this is where we've got Winston, Izzy, and Akira. Winston, because he can't be in with Conley, he's gotta be separated. And then, ah, they keep bumping into me. Izzy and Akira because of puppies. Potential puppies. So that's everybody. We are on our way to go pick up a new dog. Um, a puppy for to be a future breeding dog um, so this one's not too far away from our house which is awesome because we've had to do a lot of driving lately delivering puppies um, she's like 14 weeks old and a um, has lots going for her so we're really excited to meet her and see if she'll work for our family only one and a half hours away one and a half hours Riley are you buckled Okay, so make sure you're sitting down. She, she has really, really good bed markings. Oh, yeah. Yeah, super dark. Nala? Nala's gonna be Nala. <laughs> Alright, so this is, that's Lulu over there. We've had her for a few days. And this is Nala. Oh, Walter. And they're meeting each other for the first time. Get down. Get down. Get down. Get down. Nala has less white. Oh, yeah. Thanks, Riley. The people watching probably can't tell. Colors. Lulu went to her crate. What? That is Nala's crate. Nala, what do you think of our messy house?
All right, so that's it. So we've got Lulu and Nala are going to be the new, the future of Jolier, um, and um, Denali, Akira, and Izzy will be retiring soon, and we'll have puppies from Izzy, one last litter pretty soon. So lots of things going on. Thanks for watching. Um, I hope you subscribe for more. Hopefully I'll be able to be more consistent with videos. And uh, yeah, we'll see you next time.